Hello everyone, welcome to With Love Tarot. Today I'll be doing your weekly pick a card tarot reading. Now this is going to be interactive. I've pre-shuffled three decks and placed crystals on each. I want you to take a look at them and see what's most calling you. You can pick one, two, or all three. The choice is yours. I'm going to give you a few moments to take a look at them and see what really is calling you. Okay, if you picked deck one, now I've not seen these cards yet. Okay, for your past energies, guys, coming into uh, the present, we have Ten of Swords. So for some of you out there, something could have come to an end of some sort. This could be a relationship or just a situation. It's something that likely caused you a lot of stress or if not stress, maybe pain. Um... It's something that, you know, came to an ending and, or maybe you even had to walk away from something. We'll clarify this in just a few moments. Coming into your present energies, um, somebody really wants to speak to you. They want to give you a message. Knight of Swords is somebody coming in very quickly. So, um, or you could be dealing with an air sign, but this is all about communication. So if you've been waiting on communication from somebody, uh, this is a sign that you'll likely get it. Coming into your future energies, beautiful. <laughs> this is one of my favorite cards. This is Four of Wands, guys. This is a commitment. This is my marriage card. Celebration as well. This could indicate a birthday or just some type of party. Uh, happy times for sure. So some of you could be entering into romantic relationships or taking a relationship to the next level as well. I'm going to clarify all three cards to see what other messages we can get here. Please clarify the Ten of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and Four of Wands. Okay. Beautiful guys, I flipped the deck here um, and we have the Ace of Wands. So this is a new beginning. Some of you out there will have a new chance at something um, lovely. Now it's exactly what I was feeling. Ten of Swords, we have Nine of Swords clarifying. Th this is something that you were in your head about. Perhaps some of you weren't sleeping well or you were replaying something that really stressed you out over and over and over again. This is sometimes my nightmare card. So if something came to an ending for you or hurt you, this was you really um, ruminating over it. So that's your past energies. So I'm most of you are probably already through that, but you some of you could still be in it. Whoever is coming towards you is going to give you a message that's going to make you very happy. This is my wish card, so make a wish. This is all about um, being happy. Your cups are filled. This is emotions. So your person or whoever you're dealing with could be coming in to give you some type of message that's going to be make you very happy. Now... Uh, clarifying four of wands, we have the emperor. A couple messages here, similar to what I was originally feeling. Um, this is going to be something of stability, and emperor really clarifies that. Whatever it is in the four of wands is going to bring you a feeling of um, protection. For some of you out there, that's a message. You're going to feel um, stable, protected. This could be somebody you're dealing with who's just very powerful. This is also a father figure. Could be the father to your children or uh, a parent or relative. I am going to begin with deck two. If you pick deck two, Lovely. Okay. We have Ace of Wands there too. So we had Ace of Wands in for the first reading. So we have some repeating energies here. Bottom of this deck, guys, we have Death. So some of you have went through some type of an ending um, or a big change or a transformation of some sort. 
Death is about cycles in life coming to a natural end. It's not necessarily a bad card. It's I sometimes think of that as um, a season card, meaning you know once uh, winter is here, there's a chance for regrowth and rebirth with spring and summer. So it talks about some type of cycle coming to an end. This could be anything. It could be a relationship you were in, a job situation, anything in general. For your uh, past energies, we have the Hermit. Some of you really went within about a situation. Perhaps some of you were isolating yourselves or chose to just kind of be a homebody and stay at home. Maybe you, you know, maybe you just really wanted to get answers about something or meditate and recharge your batteries. I love this Hermit though because um, he has a diamond in his chest which is so beautiful. That represents his heart chakra. So some of you out there really opened up your emotions or your heart chakra and were just radiating. Just beautiful. Coming into your present energies, we have the Queen of Wands. So some of you out there could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, or this could be you. This is somebody who is beautiful inside and out. This is also my attraction card. You could be um, viewing somebody like this or somebody is viewing you like this. This is somebody who is a go-getter, very fiery, ambitious, uh, just a really lovely energy. And especially because we have Ace of Wands uh, following the Queen of Wands. So some of you out there are dealing with a fire sign or you could be a fire sign. This is a new beginning at something. What I love about this, so we have... Um, we have an ending to something and what did I say cycle here we had now have a beginning so if you ended a relationship this is a chance to find um, get into a new one or rebuild or restart with somebody if you left a job this is a chance to find a new one or seek out a better opportunity it's just some it's a gift from the universe that comes in um, out of the blue sometimes and gives you a burst of energy it's it's lovely it's so positive I'm going to clarify everything here to see what additional messages we can get. Please clarify the Hermit, Queen of Wands, and Ace of Wands. Please clarify the Hermit, Queen of Wands, and Ace of Wands. Beautiful guys, bottom of this deck, we have page of wands. We have a lot of wands. So you could have fire in your chart or again, dealing with somebody who's a fire sign. You are going to get a message from somebody. Uh, pages and knights are my messengers of the deck. So this is somebody giving you a positive message, um, perhaps about an opportunity, a quick message, if you will, too. Some of you went within um, because you were feeling overburdened, overburdened about something. You might have had a lot on your plate or just really felt the need to take a time out and recharge your batteries about something. Um, this is so it's positive. This is in the past. So whatever you had to do is maybe t uh, take a time out from the world to finally put this burden down. Or you could have also had a lot on your plate and finally came to an end of it. Perhaps kind of went within, shut yourself off to finish a project is a message for some of you out there as well. And beautiful guys, this is really repeating energies. Some of you really are dealing with a fire sign or a Leo. These, this is for a Leo. Um, this really is something that is going to make you very happy. This could also be happening right now. Perhaps the other message I'm getting is that you are feeling very energetic or will be. This is a burst of energy coming in. Um, perhaps after taking a break of some sort, you're now ready to come out of that. And it's just going to be something that makes you really happy. Maybe you're um, bursting with new ideas. It's some type of rebirth I'm hearing too for some of you out there. Um, whatever this new beginning was or opportunity that's coming in for you, you've waited a long time for it. 
Perhaps you were a little bit impatient, but whatever it is, you've put a lot of hard work into. You've really tended to it. This is somebody tending to their crops and really looking over it and wondering if the positive results are going to come through. Well, they are. So you've done a, a great job, um, put a lot of work into something, and it's showing. Awesome. And finally, if you chose deck three, some repeating energies from um, the final, the preceding reading here, which is awesome. Uh, you have the wheel at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you out there, you're going to have a turn of luck. Uh, luck is on your side, so to speak. This is talks about good fortune, positive omen, beautiful. Some of you out there went through an ending of some sort. This is in your past energies. You could have ended a relationship or left a job. This death is about natural cycles in life. Um, most things in life come to a natural end. Death is not a bad card. I don't read it in the negative. Um, so for instance, um, this could also talk about seasons too, uh, you know, spring and summer go, go into winter and then after winter we get a rebirth of spring and summer, right? So just natural cycles in life. We're going to clarify that in just a few moments. Coming into your present energy is beautiful. We have the lovers. So for some of you out there, you are connecting with a soulmate or will be. This is such a beautiful card, guys. Um, if you're not partnered this talks about finding love if you are partnered this is strengthening your bond with your person it's just absolutely beautiful and coming into your future energy some of you out there are going to go within maybe take a time out or a break from the world if you will maybe even um seek some answers or meditate some of you out there will be getting in touch with yourselves and going within to meditate if you will and I'm going to clarify all three to see what additional messages we can get. Please clarify death, the lovers, and the hermit. And actually, it's all major arcana. So if you chose pile three, there are some major energies um, here. And perhaps you're going through something really significant for you at this time, especially with death. Death is also about transformation and it could be a major transformation. Please clarify death, the lovers and the hermit. Okay. Clarifying uh, more major arcana, clarifying death, we have justice. So for some of you out there, uh, there you might have been involved in a karmic situation um, and perhaps this was a chance to rebalance something. Maybe something came to an ending in your life. This could be about a relationship too for some of you out there. Perhaps the relationship ended and this is a chance to kind of make something right that was wrong um this is also a positive victory this is a positive judgment if you're dealing so another message to you guys if you're dealing with a court case or anything where you had to argue something or there's just a pending action out there this means that you're getting if you didn't already get a positive judgment you will and it's going to finally end um you know put an end to a situation i'm actually going to take uh one more card on that to see what that's all about. Please clarify death and justice. What's this all about? Some of you could be in the legal field or justice system as well. Yeah, I think for some of you out, the majority of you out there, I flipped the deck again and um, six of wands, you're gonna be victorious in something. For some of you out there, this was about a relationship. Perhaps the relationship came to an ending. There as a, is or 
um, was a chance to rebalance it. Perhaps some of you got back together with somebody too, uh, because we have the two of cups. So beautiful. Coming into your present energies, we have the lovers, um, clarified by the five of swords. So some of you out there, this could be the energy that I was feeling in um, your past energies. Perhaps that this is your person that you per got into a fight with or there was a falling out. This is a very specific message, so this is not going to resonate with everybody out there. If you got into a fight with somebody or a breakup, this is a sign that you guys are going to come together again and perhaps work it out. This, could, again, could be your soulmate. And clarifying the hermit, we have Queen of Swords. I love it, guys. After you go within to find answers about something or meditate or even heal something is what I'm hearing, you're going to come out of it and you're going to be ready to communicate, um, speak your truth, and just kind of feel re-energized and re-enter the world, so to speak. And again, some of you could be um, repeating energies here in the legal field or the justice system, such as a lawyer, police officer. Um, this is somebody who's also very intelligent as well, man or woman. Thank you all so much for watching. I wish you a beautiful week ahead. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. With love. Bye.